Hello, Blizzard fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Blizzard upload. This is a game between Bro and Infinite on Inferno Pools. This is a replay submitted by a subscriber. His name is Jeremy, and I really appreciate the fact that he took the time to send me a replay. And without further ado, let's get right into it. In the bottom left of Inferno Pools, we have the Red Protoss player. It is Bro! And in the top left of Inferno Pools, we have the blue Terran player. It is infinite. Now, this is a huge map. I really don't blame Bro for wanting to scout here. You have no idea where your opponent is. Could be here, could be here, could be here. We're going to send out the probe really early. I mean, that was like an immediate scout, I think. Uh, I guess you could really do that because you have enough workers back home to sustain things while you send that scout out. See, already fully saturated here at the main. No big deal. Taking an expansion first here is bro. Pylon into expansion. Oh, and it looks like Supply Depot into Command Center as well for Infinite. So both players going very macro, very macro heavy at this point. Scouting out the probe goes here. Sees no Terran. Knows the Terran player is here, but it might be a little bit too late to scout now. Unfortunately, they kiss as they pass the SCV and the probe. Our friends now forever. Neither one, of them, neither one of them will die, I promise. Here comes the probe, coming on in, checking things out. It does see the command center, so very, very smart. Tries to harass that SCV, not quite able to do so. I think it's going to survive if it runs away well enough. Ooh, running away just enough to live, I think. The marine might pop out. Yes, it does. It discourages the probe from going any further, but the probe knows no crazy one base coming on in. Oh, and the probe dies. I lied to you. That probe did die, end up dying. Uh, but this SCV had nothing to do with it, so I'm going to assume they were friends forever to that point. And if the SCV had been there, he would have stopped the death of his best friend. So, Cybercore coming on up. We do have uh, double gas being taken. Three gas, or three people on each. Three probes on each of those geysers. No big deal. Refinery, a single one here for infinite. So, perhaps a bit more macro heavy, less than tech heavy. We will have to see, though. Cybercore finishing up. What does Bro want to do with all his gas? Almost 200 gas now. Getting warp core, researching that immediately. Of course, you want to do that. The warp gate is very important. And getting out an adept. But of course, the adepts are so good against marines. Early marine harassment is pretty much a thing of the past right now. Adepts do so well against them. They do shred them, as a friend of mine who plays StarCraft II said in an earlier discussion today. So here we have barracks coming up. Going to be bio. Now, bio against Protoss can be pretty darn scary because the Disruptor pretty much eats Marauders and Marines for lunch, as well as Widow Mines. So you have a huge clump of bio, you stim in, you move forward, you're very brave, feeling great about things. A, a, a Disruptor comes in, invulnerable, cannot be targeted, and suddenly, boof, everything dies. It's very sad. I have seen it happen. And, uh, yeah, Scouting SCV comes in, is killed by the Mothership Core and the Adept. No big deal. So both our friends that kissed up here earlier, the SCV and the probe, are now dead. It's very, very sad to see. But two gates here. Not really chrono boosting the warp gate research, interestingly enough. Not looking for any timing attacks, I don't think, at this point. Making a robo facility. Again, you need those for the disruptors. Very, very important. We have uh, orbital command just making workers. And uh, yeah, just barracks at this point. Barracks, barracks, barracks. So many barracks for Terran. Wow. Actually, not getting a star port either. Medevac support can be pretty good. You can't heal through the disruptor damage, but uh, you can heal through other kinds of damage. So, again, medevacs are great. They are fast. They can drop people off. They heal things. Really good unit. I would suggest making them. So, here we come using psionic transfer to get past that bunker and right on in here. Wow! Immediately killing an SCV. Running down here, target firing SCVs. With these adepts, these guys are behind enemy lines and very, very brave. Excellent target firing going from Bro. Going to try to take things down, but no. One of the adepts dies. Workers dying left and right, though. Pretty much ignoring the damage and boof. That's it. Eight SCVs are dead. I'm not, we're gonna, not going to count the one that died down here or down here. So seven SCVs died in that attack at the cost of two adepts. So, hmm. Fairly interesting. I do like the way they use the psionic transfer to move right past this bunker and not take any damage whatsoever. And all the way up into the main. Like, that was fast. Those buggers can move. So here we go. We do have a warp prism coming on up. We are getting the robo bay. I assume we're going to see disruptor drops because that has proven to be so effective in the past by different Protoss players on my channel. Here we have marines. We have marauders. We have more marines inside a bunker that is being salvaged to make money for more marines, I have to assume. And yeah, are we researching stuff? Stim is beyond the being researched. No concussive shell, no combat shield yet. But plus one shields, uh, armor rather, for the infantry is on its way. 
So maybe like a stim armor timing attack? Does the armor help marines survive adept shots? That's a good question. I do not know. All right, either way, the marines are coming in. They are looking pretty darn scary. Marine Marauder and the SCVs. Is this an all-in? It is an all-in. Well, I guess there are some workers back home. Not 100% of an all-in, but still. If you lose all these workers, you're going to be way behind the Protoss player. We are throwing up cannons. We have Zealots. Not Adepts, but Zealots. And a Stalker. And here comes the big push right up the middle. SCVs are leading the charge. Marine Marauders walking right past those cannons, which are not finished anyway. Photon Overcharge is up, though. That is huge. That's going to be a great help. To this player disruptor coming down just in time using purification nova gets right on in and kills a ton of the marauders and marines it does actually get sniped on the way out of there though but that was massive that i think really helped the protoss player hold off this attack that bio ball was big and scary all that were there were marines a purification or a rather a uh uh, uh what is that enter what is that called ah anyway nexus cannon was up and doing a lot of damage as well, but those guys had stim. They were mad. They wanted to kill things, but the disruptor came through. And in the end, 13 Marines, 5 Marauders were lost, and all those SCDs. It's now 59 to 29 workers in favor of Bro. Pretty darn strong hold there. And again, we're just pretty much going bio. What are we building here, though? Oh, there's the factory. A little bit late here at the 7-minute mark in Legacy of the Void, but Marines and Marauders are here. No big deal. And here we come with a disruptor drop. Oh, I feel so bad for these SCVs. They don't even know what's going to hit them. Here it comes. Purification Nova engaged, running as fast as they can. Oh, and no kills. Excellent, excellent pull there from Infinite. Well played, my friend. Sneaky third base being taken here by Bro. War Prism doesn't really feel like going back in for more, but look at all that mining time Terran is losing. Those workers are super oversaturated here. They are afraid to go back here to mine. There's only two workers on the minerals at all even just the mental effect the disruption the disruptor has of just knowing it can happen is super scary so we're going to try it again though here at the natural where all the workers on the entire world are here we come disruptor drops in purification nova engaged SCV is not running boosh 13 kills down to 27 workers is infinite unfortunately the advanced range of the disruptor here in legacy of the void was not able to pick up uh, of the warp prism here on Legacy of the Void was not able to pick up the disruptor and is forced to go home empty handed. Very, very sad indeed. So, Nexus just about up. Third Nexus here. Again, very, very hidden. So many disruptors on the field. Okay, so it's two of them. Uh, two disruptors. But again, that could be pretty darn scary. We're going to transfer those probes all the way across the map. We sure are. Probe train on the way to the bottom right. They should get there. Oh, yeah, plenty of time. After that Nexus finishes, are we going medevacs now? We are double pumping medevacs, switching out the reactor from the factory. Factory is now going to be a scouting factory because there's really no use for it. Combat shields are up though. That's nice. Marines are a little bit more tanky than they were before. And it looks like concussive shells are also available for the Marauder. Yes, they are. So great. Workers are coming out here. What is this? Oh, Disruptor comes back in, gets one kill. Hmm, and there's the pickup. Look how long that is. Wow, such long range on that. Disruptor drops are just, just terrifying. They really are. It's an instant hit. There's no advance warning you're under attack. Like when a drop happens. Okay. Infinite basically says, that is enough. It's time to go. I'm bringing all my SAVs. I know I'm economically way behind the Protoss player. I am behind, bro. I'm bringing all my Marines, all my Marauders. All my SCVs, I'm also going to have a couple medevacs here as well if you go on to wait for them. This disruptor <laughs> is going to find absolutely nothing to kill here. That is actually kind of funny. Uh, no third base. Nope, don't have to worry about that. Here comes the push. Factory scouting on ahead for everybody else. SCV train is here pushing forward. Where are the disruptors is the question. There they are. Three disruptors in the back. These stalkers get melted immediately. So many marauders are here pushing on up SCVs again leading the way as the meat shield disruptors push on in get a huge attack 18 kills on that disruptor that disruptor got zero kills somehow but in the end bro is victorious infinite leaves the game very salty indeed has to be unhappy at the amount of units that died to those disruptors boy i mean bio balls can die to baneling hits like that they can die to disruptor hits you really got to know how to split those units if you're going to play terran that is for sure so either way this has been falcon paladin with the, another daily blizzard upload thank you so much for watching thank you for supporting my channel hit that like button hit that subscribe share my video with your friends tell other starcraft 2 fans that i am here and i am casting every single day 
In other news, you can find me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, you take care of yourself.